Valenti. Mr. Valenti, hello, Mr. Valenti. How are you doing this evening, Mr. Valenti? Hello. Yeah, it was, uh, wasn't that bad, honestly. It was, uh, nice to be back, like, at home and just hanging out and close to a lot of things, but at times, I guess it was bad. You could see what everyone else was doing, and I was missing out on it. Yeah, I, I would definitely say get out and meet your neighbors, get comfortable with uh, opening your back door and stuff, because everyone's facing each other. It's just a really good area, a good community to kind of link up with everybody and have a good time. Enjoy it while it lasts. I mean, you're not here forever, so make the most of it. All right, man, super cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. You have a great day. You do the same. Murphy is definitely uh, one of the highlights of living in Andy. He's kind of the neighborhood dog. And uh, he just roams about. He'll stay in whatever house he pleases. And we all look after him. So COVID has taken a toll on a lot of people and people have started adopting more animals. And Murphy is an example of that. We adopted him just this year. Baby Murph, come here. A wonderful example of the companionship shared yeah, here on Evesham. We got him out of the pound. Kiss for the camera. Coming to Loyola, uh, definitely join the chimes or do something. Uh, it's a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Positive experience at Loyola is uh, being able to meet some amazing people at this community. This Murph here guy, he's a great man. Another good man is Mr. Chambers. So the community is one positive experience I'd say here at Loyola. I love to hear it. Thanks for having me. All right, what's your height and weight? My height is six foot exactly, and my weight is 155. I don't think he's six foot. That's every man's dream. One of my best experiences on Usham was uh, actually last Saturday. We had a bunch of our neighbors come together for the first time, really. And oh, yeah. It was just nice to all be together. Liam. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you this afternoon. Thank you for stopping by. Sham. My favorite experience on Eve Sham. Whew. 
We all have COVID scares. That's been one of the big issues of having a bunch of Loyalist students in houses that are next to each other. Once one house gets COVID, everyone else gets worried that we've been interacting with each other. Naturally. So, uh, yeah, we just have to go get tested. We have to quarantine. We have to make sure we're not exposing anyone else. I absolutely love my time here. I think this has been an amazing environment. I love my roommates. Always having a good time with them. Always joking around. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, can I get your height and weight, please? Oh, that's embarrassing. I am, let's say, 5'11". <laughs> well, thank you, Liam. Appreciate your time today. Of course. See you around. See you soon. Mr. Mark. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you, man. Good How you man? been? I've oh, been doing good. How you doing? Man? Getting close to graduation, man. Congratulations. Thank you. You too. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. We made it. Definitely. Definitely. Probably uh, Loyola Palooza with uh, Toy Lane. Yeah. And, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We got All our friends came together, and uh, it was a good time. Uh, it's been pretty rough, honestly, but... Uh, you just do what you can. I've been trying to make the most of it, going for runs and try to get outside, not just stay in the house all day. Always staying positive. Yep. Any uh, recommendations you'll have for kids coming into Eve Sham next year? Uh, just use the backyard that we have. Uh, because of COVID, we could, really couldn't use it that much. But now that the w weather's nice, just get out there and have fun. Thanks, man. Always See you, pleasure. Buddy. See you around.